J4. This is Live at 10. New at 10, a man causes a crash on a highway while shooting up with heroin. Annie Schultz is live with us. How'd this happen, Annie? Well, Mike and Carol, deputies believe he pulled over along the highway. He cooked the heroin and injected it all while he was behind the wheel. Now, that, perhaps not surprisingly, is when he lost control. Now, it sounds outrageous, but heroin is no longer a hidden addiction. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office tells us they made 14 heroin arrests last year. And tonight, I talked to a woman who says she's been there, and there is a way out. Police say this is 27-year-old Jacob Middleton drifting off I-43 at the 84th Street on-ramp Monday afternoon, high on heroin. He rolled across three lanes of traffic, down the hillside, through a sign pole, and into a wall. It's a story Tanya knows all too well. The last thing I remember, I was going straight at a, a cement wall, and then the next thing you know, four hours later, I'm on a sidewalk on the south side of Milwaukee, and I, you know, I had no recollection. Tanya is a recovering heroin addict. It was not easy. I went through depression and, and like adjusting into society again. She says it's a miracle Middleton didn't kill himself or someone else. I've been to a 17 year old girl's funeral, and my 16 year old friend died. Middleton survived, though he suffered facial fractures and a cut above his eye. But there's no telling how much more damage. He could have done. A tourniquet, bent needle, and spoon were found in his car, along with 18 bindles of heroin, totaling nearly two grams. And even though Tanya doesn't know Middleton, she knows what it's like to hit bottom and hopes he can turn it around too. We all have our own stories. Like I have my own story, and um, you know, and he's got his own. And you know, we end up where we're supposed to be. I, I truly believe that from the bottom of my heart. And Middleton is behind bars, facing 25 years if convicted. I did just get off the phone with his mother a short while ago. She tells me that he was diagnosed with cancer about six months ago, and she thinks that he probably has just given up. She tells me that she is going to try to get him into a program for heroin addiction. And there are programs out there, like Heroin Anonymous, if you or someone you know is struggling with addiction. On your side, live along I-43 in Greenfield, Annie Schultz, today's TMJ4. Yeah, there is help out there. Annie, thank you.